Falcon Stadium, built into Rampart Range, is one of the most picturesque scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 20. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds at the 32. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down at about the 41. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense, and in this case, he did. Nice job. The catch and he steps out so the completion goes for about five yards and a first down this quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive and he just gets rid of it it's second and ten ball on the 46 He heaves it deep. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. It's a way short punt. Good job by the defense to force a punt on the first series. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Give to the tailback. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. That was just smash-mouth, helmet-to-chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Number 27, the intended receiver on the way. Fourth down. And he's taken down at the 41. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And down he goes around the 47-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires it out. Tackle at the 38-yard line. Nice reception. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick pass. And he's all the way in for the touchdown.
and he tacks on the extra point with a three-play, 59-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. The score now, 7-0. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. Our score here in Colorado Springs, the Big Blue, 7. The Falcons, nothing. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From the five-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick throw. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. From their own 41-yard line. First down. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Ball start, offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound to happen occasionally. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 40-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he hits him hard to the 13-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. Touchdown, Falcons. This back is hard to stop in short yard situations. He has such great power. He easily takes it in for a touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a six play, 76 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. They get a tie game at 7-7. The Falcons had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, brought down at the 24. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Going deep. Incomplete, almost picked off. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 24. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Tackle made around the 33 yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five, black Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. The offense calls a timeout. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five-wide receiver set. He's going to air it long. Missed him. I'll tell you, if he put a little bit more air under that ball, that would have allowed the receiver to run right underneath it and catch it right in stride. For a loss, a four-yard loss. This deep 
offense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Gets it. He's in space to the 20. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 14. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's good. That makes it first and goal. Kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. Go. Intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. This is the 10th play of this drive. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. Now we see these back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. And they got him for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They can take a halftime lead by taking this one all the way back, folks. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 35. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. Our score here in Colorado Springs, the Big Blue, 10, the Falcons, 7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both quarterbacks remaining upright and healthy. In fact, they haven't been breathed on in the first half. Neither team has allowed a sack, and it really speaks well for the relationship that the quarterback has and the feel that he has for his offensive line. No, absolutely, and we always talk about those guys and going out to eat. Well, let me tell you something. They're earning a big, fat steak dinner, and those fat guys get the porterhouses too. They're not a cheap date. Those guys, they're earning it right now, keeping me up and right, keeping the, keeping the quarterback upright, keeping him clean, You know, not letting anybody hit him. You've seen, you've seen great Hall of Fame quarterbacks turn average when they get popped and when they get hit and when they get you know, beat around a little bit. These guys, they haven't even been touched. So you can, you can uh, go ahead and say, check, please, right over here, because that QB better be taken care of. It. And the quarterback's calling home, Mom, Dad, please send money. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Very close game now as we start the second half. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Nice run up the middle. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. Watch 
from their own 25 yard line. First down. It's first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. On play action, he'll scramble. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. Our score here in Colorado Springs, the Big Blue, 10. The Falcons, 7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Just under two to go in the game. Makes it to the 34. This is the ninth play of this drive. Yard line. First down. Caught open field. Tackle at the 17. It's the 11th play of the drive. Play, and now they're in a great position to score. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. He's in! Touchdown! And they take the lead. converts the extra point. Air Force to kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. So this has been a shocker, I think, to you and I and everybody that's been watching it. Here they got an opportunity to win. Yeah, huge underdogs battling the entire game with the football late. It's going to be exciting to see what happens here. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Quick throw out to the receiver. Steps out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Five wide. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter to gain this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. 
It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. From the 33-yard line, second down. Up the middle for a nice game. The defense calls a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. Air Force is up four. Takes it and he's tackled short. The defense calls a timeout. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds at the 21. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 14-10, Air Force. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.